Um, if something should happen to Sensei Demra. He has like a 5% chance of making it, and if he does make it, he'll probably be in a vegetative state. Uh, I don't know what my life would be like. That's how much impact. Even with a uh, surgery, sometimes there's so much secondary uh, damage that the brain swelling becomes uncontrollable and uh, that eventually all brain function ceases. If something happens to Sensei, there won't be another Demra Sensei. Nineteen forty five, almost in the war, B twenty nine go through the this temple. But everything dark so nobody knows what it is. During the war time my father bought this area because it's in the top of the mountain and very quiet. So my old house was uh, already tear down, bombs all over. So my father saved me my life. There's so many people in the movie business who really never studied the martial arts and all they do is talk about all the people they studied with and all the things they did when they really did nothing. Demura Sensei is the real thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Fumio Damara. In the martial arts, there are karate senseis and then there is Fumio Damara. He is a league above the rest of us. He's a true martial artist, and that's the bottom line. And there are not many of those guys still around. Everybody loves Sensei Dimur. Everybody loves him. And he was one of the most key people who brought karate to the United States and spread karate worldwide from the United States. Pat Morita fashioned Mr. Miyagi off of Demura Sensei because they spent so much time together and Sensei was teaching him and Sensei was doubling him and he just took on Sensei's persona and went with it. Thank you, Demura Sensei, <laughs> for teach 25 years me talk this way. <laughs> Listen, I got me a living, guys. <laughs> he was the guy that was responsible for bringing Mr. Miyagi to life with regard to uh, you know, his, his martial arts expertise. His feet can come from the floor up to your throat, to your nose. He can almost pick your nose. I mean, the man is good. I have never seen such beautiful precision. The audience was silent. You could hear his key pop. Back, back, back. He'd do a sidekick. And you look at the next person and you're like, whoa. And I have to say, truthfully, the reason for my success as a karate fighter is really due with Mr. Demera, and I love him very much. Bruce did not use weapons a lot. He used props. And Sensei Demera was, of course, the founder, if you will, of the, the nunchuck methods. And he had a book on them. So Bruce studied the book, he talked to Sensei, and uh, that's how he learned to use the nunchuck. When I first saw him demonstrate, it was piercing. I mean, I've never seen anybody move their body so sharp and crisp like that. People throw this term master around, like to where it almost has no meaning anymore. Master is a word that's reserved for people who've really earned it and put in a lifetime. He is a man who is devoted to his art. I can't think of many people I can actually say that about. Ah! 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 